on Route <laughs> I can't 66. is this spot where we're in neon at night this thing hopefully would be lit up but it actually looks really cool i wish i could see it at night let's go see some more things so let's hop in the car and go so we made it to one of our first stops it's called the Ju joliet kicks on 66 a tree or something. It's like a park. So yeah, this is where we are right now. And there's like this whole park of places. So let's go. Joliet kicks on a 66 ice cream shop. So let's go get some stuff. So I just got a patch and a pen, so I can put one on my curtains at home, and I can also have a pat, uh, like a pen for something cool. So, yeah, that place is really cool. Gas station. Look at this. This is the original U.S. Route 66 roadway right here. Holy crap. When they first built the Route 66, they made it out of, they made some of the road out of bricks. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. I'm standing on the original Route 66 right now. Imagine going on your old-fashioned Model T car like on this road bumping everywhere. Look at this. Look at that old towing truck. California or bus. A police car? Oh, this is epic. Let's Take one more last steps on this historic road and then a hop onto the newer road. Joliet. So now we're going into a museum. Let's check it out. So, yeah, let's go inside and see what's inside. Joliet era area historical museum for route 66 this actually looks really cool let's go inside imagine driving on driving this down historic route 66 down those old brick roads that we just saw that is epic Whoa. look at this epic R2-D2 Star Wars collection. Whoa. Look at this sweet car. And inside, you can switch the music genre from 20s? the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and etc. So yeah, now let's go upstairs in the museum. Some space stuff over here. What is this? Is this a train car? A trolley car? So now, I have a root beer. A Route 66 Museum in Joliet. So yeah, let's move on to the road and go see what town is next. It's all day long. For our next stop in Illinois, we have the Gemini Giant. Whoa. Look how cool that is. It's called the launching pad. So I, my YouTuber that I watched, Justin Scard, he goes here. And uh, last time we went here, it was closed. But now someone has bought the building and reopened the restaurant. Oh, okay. This is cool. This is very cool. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Changed the place into a restaurant. They find, someone finally bought it, and then they changed it and fixed it up. This is so cool. All right. Let's go. <laughs> In this back room, they had a cool little museum about all this different stuff on Route 66 and about the Gemini Giant, where the place where we are at. So it was really cool and really fun to look around. That's it for the Gemini Giant. Now we can go to Pontiac and see what they have there to offer. How are you liking this place so far? I love it. 
I love it too. So let's keep on going down the mother road. This right here is called the Two Cell Dale, Dale Cell in Illinois. This thing is really cool because inside it has two cells, only two, built in 1906. Just like that. Whoa, that's insane. And this is the toilet. That's a disgusting toilet. Ew. It's bad. Lord Hard Night in the prison cell. Inmates started to get hostile. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Wait. Oh, I thought that was a It was no longer a cold, hard night for the inmates. I think I have to sit in this chair. Hopefully, it doesn't break, doesn't break, doesn't break. We're good. It's a very old chair, but I just sat in it. I did it. All right, it's six. They tormented me and didn't have great Wi-Fi. Would recommend five stars. Ba ba ba! Route 66 to cell gel! Cell. So, whatever this is. What is this? Cooker! Right here next to it is a very small old diner. You look inside, it is very small. It has the counter, it has the stools. It looks like the 1950s, 60s kind of thing. I love it. I really wish you could go inside, but sadly, they won't let me in. It's stuck, look. No, he just been outside. Okay, the diner was built in 1939. Yeah, that's insane, it's still out here. The cash register and everything in there. That's really cool. This is Route 66, and this is just the regular highway. We're going the same speed as them. This right here was the old historic Route 66 road. It just ended as I started filming it, but yeah, that's but really yeah. cool. We made it to the uh, Texaco gas station in Dwight, Illinois, USA on Route 66. This thing is really, really cool and it's old. And it has this really Disneyland looking fire truck in here. Or just Model T Ford truck. Grab a hold of this and push hard and forward as fast as you can. Whoa. I signed the book and I also pinned my place from where I'm from. And now let's explore the garage. Do you? Uh -huh. I still like chuckles. So now, we're leaving. We're going into another gas station. Sounds really, really cool. Standard oil products. I love that on the outside, it's like really repaired and stuff. But on the inside, they still have the original roofing and stuff that's all torn apart in this garage. It's really cool. Whoa. We got some more souvenirs and another gas station. This thing is so cool. I love these gas stations. They're all really different and cool. And this one is very awesome. It just looks amazing. Here's some more of the old Road 66 road that's still alive and very cracked. This car right here was the home of a historic Route 66 painter who had another car inside this place right here that inspired the car from Cars, the hippie guy. And this is the car actually right here. This is the car that inspired the Route 66. I forgot his name was, but the guy from Root from Cars. 
This is like exactly how we left it, which is cool. When he died. Look, oh, look at this. I'm doing great, thank you. Whoa. <laughs> you hear Christmas lights? <laughs> this one's pretty cool. He's saying Bush for president. And then he says impeach Bush on the back. What the heck? Some more. Some cars. And he um made murals and he was an artist on Route 66 traveling as a hippie. And this is one of his art pieces right here. Going all the way along. This right here used to be a jail cell. And I converted it into a gallery of art. And I really want to visit this one day. Mm -hmm. And it's very cool. Cool. So this next part is the war museum. And these are all real uniforms from real people. And I brought them back and brought them in here. And there's tons and tons of uniforms. Holy crap. Men and women uniforms. Thought someone was staring at me. All of these people have a story and like who they were and it's a way to remember all of these soldiers and what they did and it shows all of what they did. So cool. Holy So this is a whole memorial about him. It's very cool. And also very scary that all, the, all these suits were worn by real people. That is scary. Oh my gosh. The Titanic exhibit? Yeah, I'm good. The Waldmeyer. This is all of the guys in the bus. Bus's artwork. Oh, this is all about the Fillmore stuff. This is all about the agreements for Waldmeyer to Fillmore. Except they didn't go through with it because he wanted all, uh, most of the money for all the merchandise that used the name Waldmeyer. So Disney backed out of it and named it Fillmore. Oh my gosh. Oh, and outside, look. The bus. And all is art. So now we're gonna get out of here and head down the road because we're running out of time. Historic Route 66, Bob Walmart, and we are still very, very far away from St. Louis. But look at that mural. Let's get on the way. Let's get on the way. We have another Muffler Man statue. The Bunyan one. Look at this, Paul Bunyan. Whoa. Oh my gosh. We have another one to see in Springfield. Oh, this is really cool. All right. Atlanta, Illinois. Muffler Man. But I got to do this thing real quick. That is a pretty cool mural behind this. This right here is Lincoln's home in Springfield, which we are. This is Lincoln's home right now on this really preserved street here in Springfield, Illinois. This is kind of insane how good they've kept the street looking. So we're gonna go walk. Oh, oh gosh, jumped over a puddle. Look at this. What's up, William? Oh, what's up? Lincoln is very terrible. These right here show the uh, most frequently photographed angles of Lincoln's home. Which, if you look right there, and you zoom in a little bit, and you compare it to this picture, 
They are the exact same. They preserved that very nicely. And our last giant for the day. There's ladder back one for this tire auto and service ladder back. This is pretty cool. But I am very ready to get to St. Louis. So we got about an hour drive left. But yeah, look at this thing. Look at the size of this thing. Look at this. I only go to the H. We have to go to St. Louis and sleep well. Like it? So it's raining. Okay, stand right there and look at me. But yeah, this is cool. Dude, look at the rabbit. It's a rabbit ranch. This is epic. Well, we have officially ended the U.S. Route 66 tour, and now we're heading into St. Louis. Let's go. Bye.